Welcome to For the Love of Books, Bees Books Edition, a podcast by North Lancashire Libraries. Hi, this is Fanny and this is Jenny and we're here to talk about Bees Books. <laughs> Fabulous. So this time around our theme is out of the blue but I must admit that I'm feeling a bit, well I don't know what colour would you describe sleepiness? Oh a kind of marshmallowy pale pink. Oh, like dreamland. Yes, I was uh-huh. thinking more like grey and depressing because oh. <laughs> I was trying to go back to sleep since three in the morning when my body betrayed me and then I couldn't. So it started off grey and then it became red because I was so angry at its betrayal. Uh, so yeah, I give it pink. So I'm glad you have a nice so Maybe if you thought more pink thoughts than, than grey thoughts you might have drifted off. Oh, maybe. But yes. <laughs> I'll try that if it decides to do it again yes. this third night. I don't know. But yes, yeah, so it's very interesting to think about out of the blue. Mm-hmm. I have like a book offering and a, a visit offering. Oh, oh. <laughs> that sounds like a spiritual <laughs> visitor, a ghostly visitor. But Colours in a different way, but they're both like emotion based, oh. I think. What, what about you? Okay, so I have two books. I'm just going to go yes, I am. Do it. So the first one is kind of obvious. It's called Oh Cobalt Blue by <laughs> the wonderful Matthew Riley. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's two blues there. Yes. <laughs> and there's blue. And the cover's blue. So and it's yeah. like, yeah. Ooh, I love blue. that cover. Who is this? This uh, is a superhero. Oh, she does look it. And I also have another book um, called <gasps> The City of Stardust. <gasps> Ooh. by Georgia Summers um, and this one doesn't have much blue in the cover mm. there's no blue, kit, blue, blue in the book however <laughs> it's out of the blue because another member of staff had ordered it in for her to read decided it wasn't up her street gave it to me I started reading it and boom I was right in it so oh, out of the blue nice. this book came across um, me and Oh, fantastic. So I'm looking forward to talking about those, but what, yeah. what is your book offering? Well, my book offering is called How to Be Sad <laughs> by Helen Russell. The key to a happier life. It sounds a bit contradictory, oh. but so the copy that we have here is a paperback uh, and it's white with a blue umbrella. Mm-hmm. But the copy that I originally read about three years ago was the hardcover version and that was blue, oh. like completely blue. So it had two blues going, the sign is blue. Yes, yes. And, blue, yeah. yeah, and also it's the blueness of being Sad. existential crisis. Yeah, so that is my book offering for you today. And your other offering? <laughs> my other offering is, so based on this, How to Be Sad, it basically talks about, you know, sadness has like really bad rap because everyone's trying to be happy. So, but sadness is something that should be embraced because it's like, you if you sort of keep running away from it you're not going to be, you're not going to actually deal with your feelings you're just avoiding your feelings so sadness is just a part of life so something that i experience unfortunately is seasonal affective disorder with so i feel very blue very sad very gray uh in winter but and like don't want to do anything want to hermit but this weekend i decided it's you know the days are getting later uh sun warmer sun is coming out so i'll make a trip to the Burrell Collection oh. in uh, the museum, so it's like a museum in Glasgow where I live and they had Luna New Year celebrations oh, which was really lovely and they have, so the Chinese have like colour symbolism as well, so I went to look at the Chinese sort of crockery and pottery and things and went on a tour with the chi- curator of Chinese art and she talked about like the colours which I talk about as well, the blue and green are like co-mingled in Chinese uh, sort of belief systems. So for a long time, they didn't even have different words for blue and grey. It was the same thing because it was about growth and rejuvenation, which I feel like it's a good kind of blue. So you're embracing the blue for the green, I suppose. Mm-hmm. So yes, the Bible collection, fully recommend. I have to say the Bible collection is wonderful. Um, I wanted, when I was very small, to be the curator of the whole of the Bible collection. Oh. Mainly so I could go in places where um, public are not allowed. Um, and to touch the things that the public are not allowed to touch. Um, but it is a wonderful place. Um, and the gardens and that around it, you know, on a very sunny day, it is stunning. 
Have, have you been, been recently? No, for a couple of years. So you should go. So I was when I first moved to Glasgow, it was shut for refurbishment, like for years, um, because they were doing the whole thing over again. And they only opened it, I think, two years ago, like the new uh, thing. And the f- one of the first rooms that you enter, like thinking about gardens, so it's in the middle of a country park, Paul country park. And the doors, uh, the walls are basically floor to ceiling glass <gasps> windows, oh, wow. so you can see the trees in the for like in the woods outside, and then there's like sort of um, human-made beauty inside with all the statues and the exhibits, and the back it's nature, it's beautiful. So you should go and like other people. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, I want to hear about your book, maybe not talking about science, <laughs> maybe talking about adventure. So the first one I want to talk about is Cobalt Blue. It's, it's by Matthew, Matthew Riley, who I love. Um, he writes very good adventure books. Ah. So um, he writes books like, um, I, I shall tell you some yeah. of the <laughs> um, So he has a series called Scarecrow and a series with Jack West. Um, the Jack West books are just my favourite. Um, the very first book is The Seven Ancient Wonders. Oh. And it goes all the way down to The Three Secret Cities, The Two Lost Mountains and The One Impossible Labyrinth. Jack Bates is tight. Yes, and it's very much Indiana Jones, squashed in with like kind of modern times, and it, they're just wonderful. And Jack Bates is just just gorgeous, um, and they are fabulous. But he does do a few standalone ones. So um, a very good one is the Great Zoo of China. I think Jurassic Park got um, different, oh. Um, oh. and <laughs> this one um, is a kind of new a new book he's written. I'm, I'm hoping there's more to come, mm. um, but, but it, it is a book in itself. Yeah, it doesn't need to be any more. If he doesn't want to, please write more. <laughs> um, but it's basically um, back in the day, um, like forty years ago, whatever, um, an American um, doctor and a Russian kind of social scientist, I think he is. Um, it's, it's a doctor of science, science sorry. Go to somewhere. somewhere. You can tell I read this a couple of weeks ago. Um, <laughs> and, and an event happens. happens. And basically they both become superheroes. Oh. So we have superhero in America and a superhero in Russia. Um, and you've got that kind of balance. Um, what is it called? Um, the Gold War? Mutual. Oh, oh yes, 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 yeah. Mutual assurance. Yes, yes. Yeah. So, so basically, you know, they're both kind of keeping everything on the balance. Mm. So the superheroes they have usual kind of super strength, and um, they can fly, they can do this, they can do that. However, they, they it doesn't stop them getting older. Ah. And at the time, um, Doctor Cobalt um, was about twenty or so years older than um, the other person, and she dies. And basically, um, the, the Russian one decides that's <gasps> it, coming over to kind of destroy oh. America um, and this kind of thing. It's quite a quick story to eat. It, it could have been twice as big. Yeah. Um, basically, I think um, Matthew really wrote it as possibly like a kind of screenplay with the thought of doing you know, something like that. Um, it spilled it in a wee bit for yeah. the book, but not too much. Usually, I don't like that. Um, and, and don't get me wrong, wrong, I would have liked it if it was twice as big. <laughs> but actually, because of the way he writes, it doesn't matter. Um, he very much writes boom, 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 boom. boom. Yeah. It's, it's just action the, the whole time. time. Yeah. So, so you basically plonk in, it's the day of the funeral or the day after the funeral. And, and over oh, course, right, the okay. fury is the, the Russian um, uh, guy. Over he comes and basically starts killing all the, the children of the name um, oh, the because they, they might, might sort of like get yes. superpowers. So they have superpowers, oh, okay. um, but, but they, they only have half the superpowers of the, the name um, superhero. Um, um, and, and it's, it's the same with the Russian one, so he has children, but they, they only have half the powers. So, so they're half as strong. Um, they can, some of them can still fly, but they're, they're still superheroes, but they're not quite as strong. So basically, he comes over to kill them all. Um, oh. We're really happy, happy stuff. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I never say as well, well, I mean, it's, it's not, not just like, like it's, it's very much a superhero book, so, so it's, it's not, not just a kind of 
shoots them or something, you know, it's basically like he throws a building on top of them. Of course. Or, you know, I think it's like superpowers. You, you don't, don't want, want the body. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> you know, I'd be like, do you have a fun with it? But there's, there's other stories, stories going on, so all the children, so all the children in Oxford, America did the children differently than Russia. Oh. Russia oh. basically got them to try and get as many women as he could pregnant in the hope that um, superheroes would go off. Whereas in America, they did it more scientifically and all that kind of stuff. But they roughly have the same amount of children um, um, and, and one, one of each of the children is very very smart mm. but has no kind of empathy or anything so, so the American, American one's dis- decision to, to try and combat this, this is basically, basically to blow up a city, city in the hope that when the, the, the fury's there that will kill them without, without thinking about the people, people in the city yeah. yeah. mm. whereas yeah. a hero um, who is the only natural born daughter of um, Cobalt um, doesn't, doesn't want, want to be a superhero. She's, she's basically a scientist and she's quite happy. happy. But she's, she's kind of in witness, witness protection so that she's not discovered as being um, related. But, but she, she has, has to step, step up, basically, basically because, because all of her brothers and sisters, sisters are basically getting killed. killed. Um, oh. there's, there's a lot in it. So there's, there's lots, lots of stories about, about the siblings. siblings um, and as, as they say, there, there could, could be more about that. that. So, so when one of them joins, I think it's the fire brigade, um, and then they have to kind of help with yeah. that. You know, when one goes, goes to Vegas, Vegas and it becomes quite, quite a, a thing, thing in Vegas, Vegas. You know, they, they all help. help. I yes. suppose strategic using your superpowers yes. based uh-huh. on your moral compass exactly. and exactly. Like, good or evil. Exactly. Like, yeah. Whereas is, um, cobalt, cobalt is kind, kind of um, a cobalt blue is, um, has, has the smarts as, as well. well. So, so she works, works out like how to get things, things done without destroying cities. <laughs> <laughs> basically, basically trying not to give too much away. It does end and there are a couple of the siblings lying on each side. And there's, there's a kind of conversation, conversation in the, the, the brain yeah. where you think, ooh, could oh. there be more? Um, but, but it's very good. good. And, and Matthew Jarell would say he writes very much action, 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 action. action, 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 action. Um, there's, there's no kind of downtime as such. Yeah. You, know, you know, there's, there's not a flashback, flashback, but then flashbacks, flashbacks or something like that. Yeah. You know, it's, it's very, very much a book that they kind of want to even go. Um, and, and sometimes, sometimes that's exactly what your brain needs. Sometimes, sometimes maybe you, you want, want to sort of, of save her and spend time and think or whatever. And sometimes you just, just want like something that you're gripped by. And, and there's all these as well in the TV show. Like you really watch like, like Arty Party movies sometimes. sometimes. Yes. And other, other times you just want like, like you don't really want to be thinking. No, you just want... Yeah, yeah, something yeah, in, in front of all. Yeah, yeah, and just being stimulated by it. That, that sounds like a really fun premise. premise. I, would I would watch it, I think, on a... I think, think it would make an excellent um, miniseries. Yeah. yeah. There's too, too much in the film. Oh. I, I think, think it would make an excellent, like, yeah. series. Okay. Um, yeah. I love it. And as I say, if there was to do more, yeah. Yeah. season two, yes, please. Yeah. Um, but, but Matthew Jay in general is just, just wonderful. And when they look up his, the, 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 the ancient, the, the, the whatever. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> those titles are so And it's very much, as you say, like an Indiana Jones type of thing. thing. And, and there, there is a slight like, crossover with Scarecrow as well, which for fans was like wonderful. Oh. Yes. So that's my first book. But I need to know how to be sad. Yes, because you know all the siblings are dead most of the time. Yes. There's too many siblings. Need, need to, to deal, deal with, with their grief and, and with their sadness. So, so Helen Russell, Russell I, I hadn't, hadn't encountered her before. before. She's, she's apparently written, written she calls herself a happiness researcher. Oh. I don't know if she, she calls herself, herself a happiness researcher. But she's, she's like researched a lot about, about happiness. happiness. But, but in, in, which I've not read about, about. But in this book, book it's, it's sort, sort of a mix of memoir, um, research, like scientific research, or advice, advice from experts, as well as like a self help guide, guide to navigate, to navigate like, life, life, I guess. guess. Which, which is not the self help, it's not usually my kind of thing. But when I read it, this is in 2021, when I was quite sad because the world around was like really. But I was not. That's that's that I, that I, like, like I felt like I wanted, I wanted help, help mm-hmm. like, like trying, trying to go. And, and I, I love this book. book. Like, like I haven't re- read it recently. recently. But, but the, the way, way that she approaches it, you know, she writes about like, like how sadness can, can help, help you, essentially. Like, like it, it, it sort, sort of identifies, identifies. Like, like if you sit, sit with, with sadness, those uncomfortable feelings, feelings. It, it can, can help you notice things that you might, might not have ever ignored in your feelings. Like the problem that it can actually change or just like 
embracing your feelings so you can get over them and then actually move on rather than just distracting yourself. And I think it's like these days on social media and stuff. People, people don't really show their sadness, sadness so much or their negative feelings or their comfort. It's, it's all happy, 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 happy. happy. It just seems to be like a kind of pressure on people to absolutely feel the type on social media. Or like show the best, best version of your life. Yeah, yeah. So like, you know, you're, you're not, not showing the rubbish days, days or the ordinary days, days or the sad days. days. You're, you're showing, or sometimes, sometimes you are, but, but like, like not, not just like every day like you're an influencer or something, but not like an everyday basis. And, and that, that can, can like, like if, if you are someone, someone like, like looking at social, social media a lot, lot which I, I have to just take a break from uh, for, for my, my like CC's <laughs> like disorder, just, just, just take a break. break. It's, it's really, really easy to, to compare like, like your life to theirs and that, that can, can Nah, nah, like, like sort, sort of um, add to your, your feelings. feelings. Mm-hmm. So, so she's, she's divided, divided the books, books into, into three, three parts. 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 Uh, part, part one, one is how, how to look after ourselves, ourselves when we're sad. Part, part two is how, how to talk, talk about being, being sad. sad. And, and part, part three is stuff, stuff to do when you're sad. sad. And, and it sounds, sounds like, like really a how, how to guide, guide which it kind, kind of is, is but, but it's, it's also, also really conversation. She writes a lot about, about her own life, life her experience with sadness, like right from childhood and as like an adult. And, and how, how she's found, found like, like terrible things, things to cope with, with but, but like just, just speaking to researchers to, to find healthy, healthy ways. ways. And, and she's, she's not saying that, that all, all the things that she writes about will work, work for everybody, but, but I think she's, she's trying, trying to open up the conversation that like, like, she should have to cope with as well during COVID. Um, and, she and she says, says that like, like we're not really, like, like it, it, especially I guess the Western world, there's, There's not, not really as many rituals, rituals to mm-hmm. go with grief or, or to even like, like sort, sort of go through grief. Mm-hmm. And especially after COVID, COVID when, when it wasn't was just sort of the death, death, like obviously the death was terrible, a lot, lot of people, people lost people. people. But with sort, sort of collective trauma, trauma of it, I, I don't think we were still really dealt with, with it in any way. way. And, and you know, know currently like, like in the UK, cost of living crisis, everything is going to be poorer, sadder, depressed. No, but, but nobody really, really like, like you just, just go on with it and repress those feelings. So she's, she's talking about how to sort of be healthy, like, like sort of healthy, healthy. embrace those feelings because, because you can't, can't everyone's obsessed with being, being happy all, all the time. time. And, she's and she's like, like actually, when, when you see the sadness, and, and or experience the sadness and appreciate the sadness, you'll be able to appreciate your happiness more. Like, like when, when you've gone, gone through like, like, you know, terrible feelings and embrace that, that you're, you're more, more open to joy, joy and, and to connection and to relationships and to community. So, so yeah, yeah, I, I just, just love the, the book and, and I would recommend it to... I don't I think, think like, this is like a lot of non-fiction. Yeah, yeah. You might <laughs> not. Uh, uh, maybe like, like in small uh, uh, bursts. But for anybody who... It really helped me when I was really depressed. Well, well, not, not really. really. I, I, I don't think I could have read it when I was really depressed. depressed. But, but when, when I was ready, ready to not be depressed, depressed and obviously, obviously you're depressed, depressed, therapy and things. Like, like a book is not going to solve your depression. But, but it helped me, like, be, be okay, okay with, with my feelings. feelings. And, and, and it was really interesting. interesting. Like, like, she, she talks to people who are not just neuroscientists and things. She talks to artists and comics and just writers about their experiences and how they make sense of the world and their feelings. So, yeah, it was really good. It reminds me, me and this is very tenuous, of the film, film Inside, Inside Out. Out. Uh-huh. Yes. Yes. Basically, the whole point, the whole point of that film is to say you do, do need sadness in your life, life mm-hmm. because otherwise you're not, not going to appreciate other things. things. That, that's so a fantastic connection. <laughs> and, and, and this is what, what I really feel your like, like seasonal affective disorder. Like the, the last, last couple of years, I was more okay with it. Like I sort of because in India, this is not not a thing I'd ever experienced. We just have not the time. We don't have like darkness at all. We're going out in the dark. So it was even when I moved here that I started experiencing it. But then I know that this year, year like, like it's, it's sort, sort of affected me more for whatever, whatever reason. But, but it, it really makes, makes me appreciate spring and summer, summer so much. Like, like when, when I went, went to the Bali collection on, on um, um, Sunday, Sunday, I walked, I walked around, around the park, park a little bit as well, well and I saw this, uh, the snowdrops and, and some of the tulips, some of the uh, trees budding. And, and today, like, like, me and a co-worker, co-worker were talking about, about like, on a train over when we were waiting for the train, we heard a chorus of birds. And you know, you notice that more. 
So you so feel, feel like, like you really, really earned, earned this spring, spring and summer, summer because, because you've gone through <laughs> with it, which I feel like that's, that's a point about feelings. Like, like you really, really appreciate, appreciate even, even just not even with happiness, even just, just, happiness, even just, just no, like, like normal, normal like, 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 yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. You, you appreciate like, like small, small things, things so much, much more when, when you have been through or when you like accept it and like sad with your sad So yeah, we really recommend this book. Nice. Is, is there, there a connection, connection that you can, can draw between, between this, this book, book and the city of stardust? I wonder. I wonder. No. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's a quick question. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just say like, 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 so, 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 it was, it was one, one of these books, books that, that at some, some point I was quite, quite angry about it. About it. Um, and I didn't know. Well, like, well, hell yeah, you did it. It did it. It And again, again like, like the Master Jedi, Jedi like, it, it could have been twice as big. There's a lot going on in it. I would, I would like, like to have heard one of the other characters' story running alongside the main character's story. But, but it didn't detract from, from the book, book without hearing that, if you see what yeah. I mean. Yeah. Yeah. But, but if, if you're writing another one, please write the bigger. Oh, so is it a stand-alone? It is a stand-alone. Um, um, as, as, as far as I can tell, yeah. 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 it's a stand-alone. But if she's going to write more, we'll like a bigger book. But again, a bigger book might put some people off. So I, I, I think this, this I mean, I'm, I'm totally, totally sold. sold. The, the cover, cover, your, your fairy tales, fantasy, fantasy, yeah, yeah. Georgia. Georgia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, but basically, basically it starts out um, in a big, big old family house, house, and you do like a big old family house. house. Yeah. Um, and, and there's, there's a family um, called the Everleys. And, and um, um, there's, there's a curse, curse basically. It appears that there's not very many Everleys that grow old. Um, and, and you find, find out that, that this, this woman, Penelope, comes once every generation, generation and takes away somebody. somebody. Oh. It's, it's never, never quite, quite, well, I, I never, never discovered quite what happens, happens to that, that person. person. They, 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 they are. are. They, they are. are. They be beaten up. up. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't I don't really... really I would, I would read it again, again to see if I've missed something. Yeah. yeah. Um, but, but basically, the, the girl in it, who I haven't completely forgotten the name of, Violet, her, her mum um, is the person that's going, going to be taken away. away. And she, she disappears. She goes, goes to find her. She, she breaks this curse and then never, never comes, comes back. back. Mm. Penelope comes, comes to the house. house. Oh, hello, hello, young, young one. Uh-huh. Um, if, if she, she had a moustache, she would have put her on a moustache. Sees that the younger one thinks, right, Okay. okay, but, but she, she gives, gives her 10, ten years. years. So basically, when she first comes to the house, she's 12, 12, and she basically says, I'll, I'll give, give you 10, ten years, your teacher, your mum comes back, etc. Et 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 my mum doesn't come back. back. Um, she, she gives her a year and a day, day wanting that. that. Ooh, it's it's a day. Day. Because, because I think basically, Nail wants Violet's mum. Um, um, but, but um, um, so she's given her a little bit of extra time, but that doesn't happen. Then Violet decides she's going to try and find her mum, so she goes and searches around and finds her mum. Meanwhile, well, there's a, a lovely, lovely boy, boy called Alexander, and that's, that's whose story I would have quite liked to run in parallel. Yeah. Yeah. Because he just jumps jump in and out, out of her story. story. Yeah. Yeah. You, you kind of get, get what's happening, what's happening to him. him. Um, but, but, so, so, so he's, he's from, from the other world, world. So, so he's, he's from, from where, where it's not a fairy land, it's just another world that runs alongside. And they have these people called scholars. And, and he, he wants, wants to become a scholar. He mm-hmm. mm-hmm. does. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and, and basically, Nail is kind of fantastic in charge of this world. She's taking Alexander on as kind of a, uh, like an, an assistant, assistant almost. almost. To kind of see, train, train him up. up. But, but she's, she's also, also a bad, bad person. Um, so so things, things happen. So yeah, so what is happening to these people who are right? Yes. Um, I think they used power this alongside, alongside all like, 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 I would have liked, liked more of the school. Yeah, yeah. I would have liked, liked to have known more. more. Um, um, but she, she goes and she kind of, every now and again, he disappears. But he doesn't quite realise how bad Nelly is. Even though she's like mean to him, I don't understand. But so he's kind of. Basically, he kind of fancies Violet, but at the same time, he's been told to go find out what she knows. But he doesn't quite realise what, what he's into, into if you see what I mean. 
um, and, and violet, violet doesn't, doesn't quite realize, realize what's, what's happening, happening. And occasionally, and occasionally shouting shouting that like, like just, just talk, talk to each, each other, other. Mm-hmm. Um, but, but yeah, yeah um, it's, it's a good story, story. It's, it's a very good story, story. I really enjoyed, enjoyed it, it. Um, um, I just, just liked a little bit more about other things and then at the end basically it all turns out okay oh that's good don't spoil it too much for anybody but, but we, we, the mum is never fine. fine. She's, she's, I think, I think just, just went, went off to the car and went, oh, go. Maybe she's a scholar. scholar. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, um, it, it turns out that there are more than, than those two words. Ah, oh. oh. and most of the keys and things like, like that, that, that can access the world and things like that. But basically, the whole origin of the car is that Nelly is like a thousand years old. And she fell in love with mortal. And, and gave, gave them, them a year, year and a day, day to, to be, be together, together. And, and then she was going to take his soul. soul. And throughout, throughout the book, there's, there's kind, kind of that, that story runs through, through but it's slightly, slightly different, different every time it's told. told. Ah. So, so, so one, one of the, the, the things, things was, was that the, the, so the ending, ending didn't do well. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So, so the so guy oh. um, basically oh. said, no, destroy the village. village. Um, she, she said, said I'll take, take the village, I'll take you, you. they said destroy the village. village. And another story, story it was like, like he built, built a cage around him so she can't get, get him. So so well. Same, same, yeah. 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 same, same story, story, but you're not quite sure, sure what, what, who's the good guy and who's the bad guy in it. Oh, I love that. And at the end, you can kind of find out what's what. But, but yeah, it's, 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 it's very, very clever, clever, very good. good. And, and I also see sort of echoes of, of like different fairy stories. Like, 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 a dragon, a dragon comes, comes and takes away, away like, like uh, a person, person in every year in, in return, return for, for leaving, leaving the village, uh, um, like, like safe, safe for, you know. You know. And then, and then in, when, when we end the story, story there's like something some like, like, like enough of this, this. Yeah. I want to make it good, that, 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 I like, I like Violet, Violet. Um, it's a main character. Oh, okay. 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 It's quite, quite, quite big in life. She shows up, she um, so kind of flashes of things. things. Um, but she's, she's two, two uncles. uncles. Um, and one, one of them basically, basically lives, lives in a tram shack, 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 shack house and looks after her. And the other one is off before she knows anything, trying to work out how to break her cups. And he comes back in and again. So she kind of grows up with fairy stories. And believes like her uncle is a master of mind criminal. And because he's out and about and he comes back with his flash car and things. She doesn't know about the other world that he's going to. Yeah, it's, yeah it's, it's, it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Um, and I, I can see, see it, like, obviously, Apple does not does not enjoy fantasy. No, no. <laughs> but, but, but it seems, seems like a gentle, gentle introduction, introduction to fantasy. fantasy like 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 of, yeah, 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 yes, it's like, like other words and things. And things. But, it but it seems to be more about, about character, character and relationships, relationships, so you can focus on, on that, that rather than and just have, have that maybe in your country or whatever, like, make sense. Or just, like, it's not like a... Super, super like, like just just dragon, dragon and whatever. It's the same thing in gentle. Yeah. yeah. It's 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 it reminds me a little bit of the book, book that we both read that I can't remember. The Bear. The bear. Oh, oh, yes, yes, the night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 There's obviously fed, fed, that was very, very, very delicious. But it was more about people and how they came out. Yeah, yeah. And the, and the world, world. Yeah. 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 like like the the real, the real world, world also, also like, like people's, people's connections, connections to it. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. 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 like I, I like, like the, because, because obviously, obviously fairy tales fairy tales read them, them as kids, kids really, really like, like uh, straight uh, forward. forward. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, like like bad guys, 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 bad Beside our world. world. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 And, and it's, it's just, just nice to like, like look, look at the world, world from, from another, another perspective. perspective. Like, like, you know, yeah, yeah, like, like, like old time, time but, but modern. modern. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yep, yep. So I, I think, think Bea's gonna, gonna be super happy, happy with, with our, our offerings, offerings including the bar. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, like all, all of this will be. But, but do, do you have, have any idea what our next team is gonna be? I do. 
and 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 it's spelled well, yes, yes, it is. is. Silence, Silence is, is golden. golden. Oh, oh is, is it? it? <laughs> Again, yeah, yeah, I don't, don't know what this is. Because we never, never let, let it on. No. No. But, but yes, yes, Silence is, is golden. golden. Oh, I see. In, In some, some cases, cases um, Jenny, I think it's pretty much. I think also we work in life and a lot of people think that light lights are still Places, yeah. yeah. Um, but public places really, really not. No. No. I, mean, I mean, both, both of us do bug bugs. I do bug bugs. However, there are some times yeah. that yeah. do, do quite, quite like, like that. that yeah, 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 yeah,